Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Evolution, the world of Sacred Device. I'm Nye, and this is Mako. Hi. So Mako has played the game a long time ago. Probably about as long, long as it took me. Long time ago. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go and collect our second mission. Which is going to be interesting. Let's see. So yeah, I'm not sure... What did I just trigger? Oh, no, no, this is an area change. I'm so used to Skies of Arcadia. I'm so used to, like, cutscenes starting all of a sudden. Ah. Uh, so, I saw the I screen go black, and I went, uh-oh, it's a cutscene. I don't think evolution is complicated enough to be able to pull that off. Well, I mean, it just did start a cutscene. Okay, so we are going to be introduced to our uh, final playable character of the game. She has just gave, given some sort of amazing jade coin. It's perfect. Perfect condition. Wonderful. And this is the Foxy Babe. I love that they named her that. That's just fantastic. Foxy Babe. Slightly more worrying when you consider that this is all from, what, Mag's point of view? Yeah, this is all from... And he's, he's like 12 or 13. Like, he's young, young, young. But just... And it's just a little something to say. I just I, I love her, I love her phrasing. Just a little something to say hi and let's get to know each other. That sort of gift. Oh uh, yeah. Never mind the fact that it's probably worth more than his entire year's salary. Notice him like he's he's like supposed to be blushing and he's stammering and. <laughs> so this is uh. This is our latest character. She notices we have a side frame. Mag is not affected like at all. Yep, that's me, Mag Launcher. That's right, that's the name. Uh huh, sure. And actually, uh, I, I thought that Pepper actually knew who he was too. But uh, yeah, she's an adventurer too. And now we get the slightly glanced up view of her. And uh, I don't know. But yeah, this is Pepper Box. And. Uh, I'm going to have to look... You know, I have to wonder what, what her original name was in the Japanese version, if it was the same. I've got to look that up. I heard that there's just a crap ton of translation amusing things that happen, and that's why everybody's uh, Named name after is guns a gun. or weapons. Yeah. yeah. Well, Pepper's actually very interesting. Uh, she is an adventurer. She is a Cyframe user. And, uh, she's very weird because her side frame is a gun. Which is kind of unique in the Evolution universe to begin with. But, uh, she's also very odd because her skills tend to thrive on use all of your FP at once. And she names Linear as Mag's girlfriend. Well, that'll make her happy. Uh, I don't think Linear is the most likely to not understand at all the concept and Mag will blush. That's true. Though Linear gets kind of clingy. Little lover boy, says her. <laughs> wow, she's really cool. And Linear just smile and nod, smile and nod. Okay, let's go get our next, uh, oh, right, bat button. Our next. <laughs> I'm, I'm so used to the GameCube controller. I'm used to A being on the right. <laughs> okay. Let's see. So let's see. Eighth Imperial Army Goose Steppers are looking for Evolutia. I love the way he puts that. Goose Steppers. Uh, yeah, so, um... I'm trying to remember exactly how it works, but after you, uh... After you choose one ruin that you go in, uh, that decides which ruin the Eighth Imperial Army blockades, and you don't get to go into it for the, uh, rest of the game. Hmm. Until uh, until end game, you will finally get to go to that particular ruin. So, uh, yeah, it's um, it's kind of a pain. I'm really hoping they didn't block my favorite one. I'll be I'll be kind of upset if they did. Let's see. I want to decide. Oh, let's find out. Which one did they blockade? Uh, good. They did not block my favorite. Actually, uh, I forget which one they blocked. They blo uh, they blocked the poison one. They left my favorite ones. Poison, is that the swamp one with all the plants? Uh, I think so, yeah. I didn't care for that much much for that one, if I remember correctly. Gonna do the, volca the volcano yeah, one? Yeah, I'm gonna do the volcano, because I actually I don't like the volcano, so I want to get it done as early as possible. I seem to remember so. that that's the one I ended up doing second back in the day. 
I mean, it's the thing is like the 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 dungeons. There's no there's no right way or wrong way to do them. They don't matter. They all don't they all like scale somewhat? Well, yeah, they scale like the game scales depending on how far in you've gotten, which which dungeon you took first. So dungeon one averages ten floors, dungeon two averages twenty floors, dungeon three averages thirty floors. Right. Okay, who are you gonna bring as your third? Well, I'm gonna bring Gray. I'm always gonna bring Gray. It's he's he's the third. The problem is, um, <laughs> Shane, you really shouldn't be drinking in the afternoon. How could they be mine, you dumbass? <laughs> I love that comment. I love that comment so much. Uh, she says idiot, but uh, so Shane somehow knows I've taken a mission. Oh, and. Uh, Chain will actually keep track of a. Uh, <laughs> do you know your nostrils flare when you brag? <laughs> uh, Chain will actually keep track of uh, the score, though I can't remember exactly how each person gets points. Uh, the reason I'm picking up Chain actually has nothing to do with Chain. It has to do with the fact that um, I. Oh come on! I just. Yes, I want. Yes, I would. Sure, you'll be a big help. There we go. This dice girl will lend you a helping hand. Okay. Uh, the reason I'm taking Chain has nothing to do with Chain herself. I don't want to use her. I don't intend to. Uh, even though she actually starts with three parts off top. Hmm. No, the uh, reason I'm taking Chain um, is because of the way the game treats uh, third character level ups. Um, the way it works is if you go into skill, let's go into Chain. Notice that she has 2,864 TP, even though I've never used her. She still gets the TP. She still gets the TP. Actually, she still gets the uh, EXP as well. So notice that uh, she should ah. she should be the same level as us. Level twelve. Yep. Yeah, she's on average. She'll keep up. Uh, she should be right alongside us actually. But um, so chain keeps up. The problem is that TP maxes out at nine 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 nine. Ah, so, so you want to spend it all. So you, you want to spend it on the characters that you're not using because eventually you will use them. The game actually forces you to use them later on. So I want to use them, but uh, I don't know what I want to use because she's she's really weird. Chain is one of the weirdest ones in the game. She's all attack completely. She does nothing else. She just attacks. But the problem is she has these really weird. Um. Let's go ahead and master that. Hey, it's cheap. She's got really weird styles of things. Uh, let's go ahead and master that. Like, for instance, the V-Blade actually attacks in a V-shape on the enemies. So if I remember correctly, it's like front left, back middle, back middle, front right, something like that. So she's got these really weird shapes. X-Blade is, uh, like, it's like, <laughs> it's exactly what you expect. It's front right, uh, front left, back left, front right, uh, front right, uh, back right, and then the two middle ones. So huh. you have to get used to that. She's very weird that way. Uh, I, well, I guess I'll do line saucer as well. Okay. So uh, then we're gonna disperse. So we can only do this. Yes, I want a part company with her, and then she'll leave the party. Uh, if I if I want to get her back, I can. You can only do that outside of uh, outside of the dungeon. You can't do that in the dungeon, uh, for obvious reasons. Right. Okay. Yeah. So let's go Poor get Gray. Idea. Yeah, it'd be a terrible idea. The so the downside about doing what I just did is that I can't get my free cast of any given ability. It doesn't matter, but you know you don't want to do this normally. <coughs> okay. So Gray's gonna join me, and we're gonna leave. I actually got a lot of good luck in that first dungeon. Uh, oh, we, what'd, we you found, what'd you walk away with? Uh, we found the hunting gun for Gray, which is a standard drop, so that's not th nothing special. But it gave him a lot of power directly off the bat. But Mag is the one that got the actually. Oh, you know what? I should check the shop first. Hold on. Mag got the ridiculously good drops. He got the uh, moving hand parts, which. God, I hate this part because ugh, the camera doesn't. There's no indication of which way leaves. So I walk, I keep on walking back and forth through the zones. Um, so I got the moving hand parts, and they're actually one of the worst hand parts in the game. Uh, they're the ones that just move allies around on Mag's turn, which is pointless because you want Mag to be attacking every turn. But it gives an automatic plus 10 to attack. 
just for uh, having that part to, uh, equipped. Well, you don't have to use it, so... Yeah, I don't have to use it, I just have to equip it. Uh, I, get the, I get the feeling that that sort of hand is supposed to be used alongside, say, um, Chain. No, because... Well, I mean, Chain moves herself, that's what her jet parts do. Um, well, no. What I meant is, get, that's. I, I get the feeling the idea was use use something like that to move her into position for the uh, for her weird targeting. She can move herself. Well, no, no, no. Mean, what I said, what, the weird targeting with chain is enemy targeting. It's the 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 X is on the enemy line. Yeah, that's. <laughs> wait, so no, it, it doesn't matter where she is. It matters where the enemy is. Oh, wow, it's been way too long since I played this yeah. to remember the exact sort of thing. Yeah, so it doesn't matter where Chain is for uh, her targeting. It matters where the enemies are when she targets. So it's an X on the enemies. <sighs> I am so glad I remembered to do that. Because that's some really good stuff I just picked up. It's the heavy tail type, right? Reduces evasion, reduces agility, but I can live with it. Okay. Boost defense by nearly 40 points. But the the other pieces I picked up, I picked up the jet boots, which are insane agility and dodge up for Mag. So he just goes. Like, he he uh just keeps on taking turns over and over and over, even though he has no freaking right to do so. <laughs> and uh, I also got the Thieves' Wire, which is accuracy up, which is also just really, really stupid. Uh, I don't want that. Can't, she can't equip those. Nothing to equip there, and she can't equip the rocket. And I don't have another weapon for linear. Her weapons are rare. But yeah, getting any uh, getting any Psy frame parts tends to be really rare. And uh, not only do we get Mag's uh, moving hand parts, we also got chain saucer parts. So it yeah, was. I uh, saw her and those, saw those on her when you were. Well, I I, I just equipped through. I just equipped them. Chain starts with uh, three parts, I think. And I think Pepper starts with three parts, too. Two to three, I can't remember. But, um, with the seawater, seaplane, we can go anywhere. Let's take off for the ruins. I don't know why he feels the need to repeat that every time. But, um, yeah. He's a, he's a protagonist. If he doesn't repeat the same thing over every and over and over, three and hours or so, he'll yeah. forget it. Yep. And uh, this is one of the reasons why I actually do not like the Shoal Ruins. They are so freaking bright. God, and all the lava. I remember this level now. Yeah. I hated it. The enemies are it obnoxious, and the, and the lava is a pain in the ass when you're trying to actually see the map. It that and bright the, red. the poison one were the two worst. Uh, my favorite is actually the um, the science one, the space one. Ah, yeah, that sounds pretty cool. Okay, Shane, why are you in too well. Gray, why are you in middle? You shouldn't be in middle. You should be in front. What are you doing? Ah, I think I have to reset his formation every time. I think it, I think it automatically de deforms him when he's uh. Well, linear he's not should the party. and linear should be back, not middle. I don't know what the hell she's doing. Formation, gray. You go up here, linear. You go back here. Yeah, my um, the first boss we just blitzed. Uh, the only moves I, I don't think. Like, I haven't mastered anything, is the thing. I haven't mastered any skills yet, for the most part. So, everybody just has a bunch of TP just floating around. All I mastered was, uh... Let's see, I mastered the uh, move that guarantees a critical for Cyframe users on Grey. Uh, I mastered the, uh... The one that makes Mag goes, go Berserk. And, uh... Spirited Explosion, which is the one that delays enemy movement, so it slows them down uh, turn-wise. And then uh, I also took a uh, more powerful heal for Linear. And that's about it. With how powerful Mag was already, like, we just re-wrecked that boss. You're, you're doing the same, you're doing the thing where you're saving, like, your TP for the free casts. Right. It still feels very gamey to do that, but... Well, take what you can get. It's not like the game's going to take it easy on you. <laughs> Actually, the game, you know, the game is not easy. Holy crap, four chests, sure. Malin, okay. Is there anything any, is there anything good in them, yeah. though? Herb is actually decent. Special item chameleon color is great. And electric ball is terrible. Uh, that's the way down. 
Let's go just check that last set of corridors down to the lower left. It always irritated me that the camera likes to stick on the diagonals as opposed to the cardinal directions. And no, there's nothing here. Okay. I don't want to miss out on anything. But yeah, the general, the, the good drops, the stuff like, uh... See, look, it's getting stuck on the diagonals. It's not lining up with the uh, paths, and that just drives me nuts. But the good drops, like uh, side frame parts and uh, just equipment, just seem so freaking rare. Well, side frame parts are meant to be so sort of rare in the world anyway, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, they're they're meant to be, like, complete side frame pieces are meant to be incredibly rare. But uh, even so, from an RPG perspective, you get new equipment so rarely. And yeah, this um, this these series of floors until I hit uh, floor five are probably going to be obscenely easy, because <laughs> the game doesn't uh, doesn't tend to scale incredibly quickly because it wants to give you the option to skip uh, skip fights. Right. I find it very bad to do so though, because the game very quickly scales. Uh, you and, you and skip game. those first few fights, and by the time you reach the end, the enemy will, the bosses will just stomp you. Yeah. Well, it's not that bad, but uh, I rem I recall the uh, the very first time I played the game, I uh, fell victim to something that actually I'm very susceptible to, namely, uh, I had trouble beating the final boss and actually gave up on the game, uh, which I was very bad about when I was younger. Uh, and I didn't beat the final, and the problem is there was a save point just for the final boss, so I saved over my only save point. Ooh. And uh, didn't return the game until I was much, much older, uh, which... Uh, you know, probably started my love for the game, actually, because that's when I could really pay attention to it and notice all of the really bad translations and things like that. But, um... Yeah, I was under-leveled because I was kind of ignoring fights and uh, struggling my way through boss battles. Oh, no, there's some chests back. So, yeah, it was kind of a... Uh, it was kind of one of those things. What do we got? Push rubber is worthless. Herb is okay. Okay. Yeah, it was a, it was a, it was a thing. And the final boss, he is a, uh, he's no slouch. Like he is, to my memory. Now, my again, it's been, it's been some years since I last played this, but to my memory, he is probably one of the harder RPG bosses I ever had to face. Well, it's an RP. Evolution's a strange beast to begin with because it's an RPG, but it's also got the meanness of a rat, meanness of a mysterious dungeon. So. It'll kick you when they kick you when you're down if you don't pay attention. Well, you also got to remember the the final dungeon, the very last dungeon, is not a randomized dungeon. It's it's distinctly not actually. It is very specifically designed. So, uh, which is something they carried over into Evolution Two. But uh, I mean, it's it's a very mean dungeon, and that boss is just he is mean. I'll admit, I remember more of Evolution 2 than I do of 1. Well, a lot of people will say that Evolution 2 was the better of the two, mostly because of the fact that it, uh... It streamlined a lot of stuff, if I remember. Streamlined a lot of stuff. Most dungeons are not randomized. And, um... I forget what else. The storyline makes a little bit more sense. I believe the translation was made better. A lot of stuff was done. I mean, this was as the um, uh, as the box says. You know, this was the first RPG on the Dreamcast, and the Dreamcast was a very new system at the time. Yeah. So, um, about I, about the only thing I can remember cleanly about the second one was that it still had the uh, voice act, the original Japanese voice acting in it at the time. But not as if that mattered all that much because it wasn't a voice acted game to begin with. So you had, you know, voice acting on the random stuff like, say, just now, Gray shooting an enemy, and that's wonderful. Really? I could have sworn that I've heard more. I remember more than that. I thought I recall. Google, to the rescue. The only time I recall the voice actors actually saying anything are just during combat sequences. <laughs> Let's see, got nothing over there. Yeah, these are these are gonna be a particularly easy series of floors for a while. 
At about, about floor five, it should start kicking in the difficulty. Not uh, not particularly bad, I don't think, but let's start getting there. I really appreciate how fast some of the combat is. That was literally one attack, and my combat's over, and I get to move on, and that took less than ten seconds. Yeah, evol the first evolution had no spoken dialogue. The sequel had a Japanese voice track. Hmm, really? Hmm. Yeah. Evolution Worlds, the, the GameCube one, did a re did a re uh, remix with the English voice acting for both games, but the Japanese voice track was for the Dreamcast uh, two. I don't recall. Oh come on, that was even. I was gonna say that's about the only thing I remember cleanly about it, just because that was <sighs> it. Weird story time. I before I in my last years of college, I took a Japanese course for. Uh, not basic language, but sort of basic language and, uh... Shoot, I'm losing words. Basic language and culture and things, and they give you all the basic terms, you know, good morning, good night. And I remember it primarily because they did actually use pro... At that, by that point, Linear did actually talk, or talk appreciably. Which, by that you mean she actually spoke. Yes, but by that point in the sort of the story, by Evolution 2, she actually speaks. And she uses a very polite sort of. The linear is weird to begin with, so it's manner it's not of speech. A, not at all, you know. Right, like, it's the just, only it's... way I can expect her to speak is uh, with a very meek, meek, like "excuse me" at the start of every single sentence. That that's just about well, not quite that kind of meek, but she's she's got a very sort of a very polite very quiet kind of voice and then the, the the politeness and the correct sort of terminology stuck in my head from there i mean it's it's under i mean th this game again i mean it shouldn't have be that bad in actual japanese because that's the primary yeah. um, language of the game but you know the, the whole translation of this game is already weird so I yeah. could expect crack translations when it comes to the to the English uh, voiceover or dialogue in general. No, the trans I, the translation on this one's a bit wonky, but it's it's still it it's still like. Functional. I mean, it's it, no, it's it's definitely fun functional, but it is so. Could be worse. You could be playing the what was it, the Wonder Swan color one? Okay, go away, blindness. Ooh, Black Lava Stone is a, uh... Okay, that's the exit. I'm not doing that again. I, in the in the previous dungeon, I was on, like, floor 7 or something like that, and I got blinded and accidentally jumped down the exit chute Ooh. on, like, the second room I'd explored. So I literally lost an entire floor. Entire floor of loot. Pretty much. And we also had two monster zoos, which was, uh, very interesting. Ooh, ouch. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was good, because we leveled up a hell of a lot, which is probably one of the reasons I'm face-rolling so hard. But, uh, like, two different rooms on two different floors had upwards of seven enemy parties. So it was a really, you know, it was a thing. Speaking of enemies, because this is just, you don't see them prior to this, oh, crap, 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 please, 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 please. Thank you. Um, you don't see them prior, like, this is the dungeon where I usually first see them, but the wolves in this game have such a weird attack animation. Let's ignore the fact that I'm attacking gigantic viruses, which, that's what they are. That's what those are. Those are man-sized viruses. I wish I was joking, but the name of these things are Phage, and they are actually designed as the primary... Uh, virus uh, designs that you usually see in uh, biological textbooks. I only learned that, uh, you know, later on in life. But, um, the wolves jump on, grab onto your clothes, and start scratching at you. Yeesh. It is such a weird attack. Ah, hmm. uh, here we are. I knew this. Yeah, the translation on this one is funny, but it's at least serviceable. It, there's a there was actually a version of evolution for the uh, Neo Geo Pocket Color, hmm. and it was even worse. For example, you has beated enemy. Hmm. 
Well, like, one of the things that I noticed was, um, the first boss we fought, you remember the, um, uh, the frog with the, uh, frog thing with the screw in its head? Mm-hmm. Mag identifies that enemy as Eugene. He specifically says Eugene has run away. Eugene is the name of the main enemy. Eugene, Are the main enemy, much? also dresses in all green. Oh, whoa, 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 go back. Holy. What did I just Hang pick on. up? Hang on. That was something really good. What the hell did I just pick up? Attack booster plus 15. Ooh. Ooh. That was good stuff. Uh, guys, the attack booster is an item for mag. Uh, well, for any, specifically any Psyframe user. And it literally does exactly what it says in the tin. It doesn't give you any moves, but it flat out ups your attack by 15 points. That's huge. Like, remember, I was kind of excited about getting plus 10 off of my previous Psyframe uh, piece that I picked up. One that you're not even using. Well, I have it equipped. Uh, if I remember correctly, the Mentuan Glass is a headpiece for Linear. Now, for Gray? Oh, but it's crap. Damn. Maybe, maybe Matt can use it. Uh, no stat changes, and it prevents sleep. Which is good. Because sleep can wreck things. Yeah, attack boosters, they come in a variety of sizes. Uh, the biggest of which you're not allowed to get until you pay off the uh, family debt. What'd I just do? 50% of everybody's HP restored. Nice. Everybody was already at full HP, but... That's an example of a beneficial trap. They're a lot rarer, but uh, they tend to be pretty nice. But, uh, yeah. So, if I remember... so, few, so few games with sort of the dungeon thing do the uh, beneficial traps nowadays. There's so few games that do the dungeon thing. Uh, well, I don't know. I think that the, the it, it they had a resurgence a few years ago, and then it just seemed to have faded away again. Well, the problem is they're... Like, evolution, in my opinion, gets around this by adding the RPG aspects... Uh, the humorous storyline, uh, in my opinion, really good combat, but, uh, they're boring. It's, they, the dungeon thing doesn't work very well, because it's the same gameplay over and over and over, there's no additions to it, it's just you go down the dungeon, you hack, you slash, you walk away. Right. Yeah, they just, you know, there's something to be said for that sort of gameplay, but, uh, you know, they, they need something else, and the problem is they frequently don't get something else. That thing should be almost dead. I love that these spiders literally have eyes on their abdomens. It's, it's, just, it's so... Just one of those really odd and off-putting... Like, you can see it really well right there. It's a really odd and off-putting thing about this game. It's it's in in character for a spider too, so. Ooh, ooh. Give me that. Ooh, what's that? Oh, this praise item. Nice. Place. It's a praise item, yeah. Uh, let's drop ooh. the. Yeah, I got a couple balls. You said were useless. Yeah, you mini drop those. Uh, yeah, they're they're the, they're the push and pull items. They're pretty terrible. I never actually ended up using them. I actually forgot to drop off a couple of items in the uh, storage storage chest. Uh, well, I'll snarf a couple Nowlins and you'll have some space. Yeah, that's so I'm just tossing one. I, I actually like that. Uh, if you're full on health and you try to use an item like na um, Minaolin, uh it'll say that the character is feeling great instead of saying that they couldn't be healed or something like that. Hmm. And it's just one of those little... I like those little touches. Let's keep jumping. Just to see Gray do the freaking star jump every time. Okay. Well, he is the best butler in the world. He is. He's he's a hell of a butler. Gray just does things. Things and stuff. Uh, punch that. Look, 173 damage. These things only have like 120 health. Yep, I mean, he, uh, Gray just did 145 and it died, so, you know, they have to have very low. Oh, don't do that. No, don't, don't, no. Hey, <laughs> A 
Especially on the healer. Don't do it to the healer. Don't do You're that. Still... You're still fairly high up, so you've got time to... I can't remember. Do they, re do they, or do they regenerate FP slowly in combat? Uh, they only when they do a, a, a basic attack. Well, you're still high up enough in the floors that you can probably make it back. Oh, no, no, I got time. I got time. We're on floor three. This, this dungeon should go uh, to close to 20. So, no, no, no. We're, we're fine. And uh, actually, the uh, floor should go a little bit faster the further we go in. So now I'm going to start using stuff like uh, uh, Trap Search, Chameleon, uh, Chameleon Color, and stuff like that. So I'm not worried about that. I just I hate that move because in a game that is the, the game is not very forgiving when it comes to FP. Uh, most of the moves that you're going to use are very expensive in FP to begin with. So and then you know you'll notice we have 800 health, which sounds impressive, until you realize that I just got attacked for a hundred. So <laughs> I don't really have the leeway with this whole, you know getting attacked and not being able to heal, potentially, thing. They're on Basin 4-4, and I spent half this episode screwing around in town, so... <laughs> we're moving pretty quick. I, I do appreciate that the movement speed in the game is really, really fast. Yeah. Don't have to wait around. Let's see. Ray, shoot that dude. Things will get even faster once I actually start getting some AoE attacks. I just don't feel like I'm mocking them right now. Saving up that TP. Especially Vice's super AoE attack. God, when I get that ability, I'm going to use it nonstop. <laughs> just every tur every fight will be... V oh, uh, what am I saying? Vice. Ugh. Too much guys are kidding. Huh. But every time, you know, Mag's turn will come up, it's just, you know what? Let's use this AoE attack. Everybody's dead. Moving on. Every fight will last exactly 30 seconds. I had completely forgotten this. Just, I'm, I am re, uh, reacquainting myself with the specifics in another window while I watch this. Um, I had completely forgotten that Evolution was by the same guys who did Baroque and Treasure Hunter G. Hmm. Well, Baroque kind of sucked, but I never tried Treasure Hunter Treasure Hunter G is a weird one. It's it's an RPG by Square, but it it's much more tactical. Like positioning matters. Everything is like a miniature tactical battle with just three party members. Oh, I picked up Sorry, some high four. shoes. Can't Mag actually wear those? No. Okay. It's uh linear and uh, pepper who can good. use them. These are so these are such weird weird items. Defense goes down, evasion goes down by a lot, but luck goes up by five. Very very weird item. Well, that would explain why he's got some weird translation issues. Supposedly, it was localized by Ubisoft. Yeah, well, the uh, the copyrights owned by Ubisoft. Like uh, it was published through Ubisoft. Hmm. No, don't don't go go away go away go away. Don't, don't, ah. Stop doing that. Okay, you know what? Oh, hold on. You kill that thing, please. Okay, Mag, do you have the ability to get that ability? No, I haven't even be begun to unlock it. Okay. Unmistered. My word, start. So maybe you should start working on that. Think about it. I might. I mean, we have so much TP, and but the problem is the ability in question is like the third to last ability in the hand parts line. Ah, uh, uh, it's dive punch is the one I'm talking about. It's it's almost like it's dive punch and the last one are the two mass AOE ones. Of uh, Mag's, most of his attacks are single target. Well, he can't do everything. He doesn't do anything. Like, Mag's one thing he does is he punches people. He punches people real good. But that's about all he does. Well, that's really all you need. Well, for now. Well, I mean, you gotta remember, if you put Gray and Linear into the fight, you got Mag who punches people real good. You got Linear who heals and supports, and you have Gray who hurts things and supports. 
You don't need Mag to do anything more. That is, his sum total is let's hurt things. Gray shoots things and murders them with cooking. Oh no, Gray's best abilities are spirit abilities. I mean, if you're not, if you're not making Mag the most terrifying thing on the field, you're spirit bombing people. That's, well, I mean, uh, that's, that's a little bit unfair of me to say. The wonderful thing about this game is that you There's can, a lot of, there's a lot of options. For there are a characters. ton of options. I've See, actually, I, when, I, when, I, when I played with Gray, I always liked using his, uh, his soups and things to debuff the enemy. Whereas I just can't be bothered because they don't stay on the field long enough. <laughs> no, 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 no. I can certainly carry more to pick up a trap search. Give that to me. Yeah, I was going to say, shove a nail in down Mag's throat. That's, that's the idea. I kind of like the idea that your inventory is limited, but god damn it, is it annoying. It means, it means no stockpiling, which is fine, but... It means that inevitably you're going to have to decide what to toss. Yeah, which will inevitably be the push rubber and the electric ball and the... What, what other useless items do I pick up all the time? Eye potion, doctor's potion. I mean, yes, I did happen to use a single doctor's potion at one point in the previous dungeon, but that's simply because I hadn't gotten to a point where Linear could do it. That is one downside to Linear's um, status effect uh, spells. She can't actually use one unless you actually have that status effect. Which means she can't learn in battle unless you actually have that status effect. Mm. Okay, guys, well, we are at the end of Basement Floor 4, so we're going to stop here because we ran on a little bit long. We will see you guys next time as we continue diving into the Shoal Dungeon. See you guys later.